What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got another movie reaction for you. Hot Fuzz. And yes, we have seen Shaun of the Dead, which is why we're starting with Hot Fuzz. Yes. There's not going to be a reaction to that fabulous movie, unfortunately. So here we are with Hot Fuzz. If you guys didn't know, we do movie nights every single weekend over on the Nikki and Steven live channel. Yeah, we have a live channel. We do live streaming stuff. So come join us. Yep. We have a good time over there. I always start the stream with the dad joke. Joke of the stream. It's always fantastic. I roll my eyes. It's the one time I get to roll my eyes at Nikki. So whatever. It's great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, come join us. There should be links down there. There should be one popping up here. But here we go. Hot Fuzz, you ready? Yes. Let's go. Police Constable Nicholas Angel graduated Canterbury University in 1993 with a double first in politics and sociology. So serious. Received a bravery award for efforts in the resolution of Operation Crackdown. In the last 12 months, has received nine special commendations. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Sustained three injuries in the line of duty, most recently in December, when wounded by a man dressed as Father Christmas. Oh, shit. Hello, Nicholas. Hello, Sergeant. How's the hand? Still a bit stiff. Your arrest record is 400% higher than any other officer. We're making you Sergeant. I see. In Sanford, Gloucestershire. Where, sorry? In Sanford, Gloucestershire. That's in the country? Yes! Can I remain here as a PC? No. Do I have any choice in this? New. <laughs> New. New. <laughs> you want me to get the Chief Inspector to come all the way down here? Yes, I do. Okay. Kenneth! Hello, Nicholas. I love this so much. <laughs> You've been making us all look bad. I'm sorry, sir. See in Harry Potter? Mm-hmm. You can't just make people disappear. Y yes, I can. I'm the chief inspector. <laughs> There's one thing you haven't taken into account. And that's what the team is going to make of this. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Seriously. Well, I have something important to tell you, and I didn't want to do it over the... Fine. Janine, I've been transferred. I'm moving away for a while. Well, I'm not Janine. <coughs> <laughs> nope. It's only ever about the job. It's all you care about. That's not true. You're seeing someone else. Yes. How did you... Is it Bob? No. <laughs> Does Bob look like the kind of person I'd go out with? Ouch. It's... You do realize that window is broken from the inside? Ow. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was hoping to uh, check in. But you've always been here. I'm sorry? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my husband. You must be Sergeant Angel. Oh. Role play? The role play? I trust you had a pleasant trip. Fascist. What? I beg your pardon. System of government characterized. <laughs> well, uh, actually, I could probably make my own way up. Hag. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Evil old woman considered frightful or ugly. It's 12 down. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I'm just gonna start using that now. Oh, I'm just doing a crossword. Hag. Yeah, I did not you at all. Just hoodlums up to no good. Hey! You wouldn't by any chance be the new policeman. Police officer. <laughs> What's the drinking age over there? Uh, younger than it is here. When's your birthday? 22nd of February. What year? Every year. Get out. <laughs> 8th of May, 1969. You're 37. Yeah. <laughs> When's your birthday? Uh... Out. <laughs> Is there a problem, officer? Well, you 
with them maybe a month or two south of proper, but if they're in here, it stops them getting into trouble out there. It's all for the greater good. The greater good. But the law's the law, and they'll have to go. Oh, oh. oh. Oh shit, the whole pub. <laughs> Another cranberry juice. I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> shit. Uh. Oh shit. Right. <clears throat> oh god. sound that it makes when it's actually peeing on somebody. I really want to uh, process all this lot. My pen's running out. Not a problem. <laughs> I like the transition so far. Yes, I love those. those like so the fun. travel montage was good. The yeah. arrest montage was cool. It's nice to watch something funny for a change. I'm a slasher, and I must be stopped. You're a what? The prices. <laughs> Just kidding. My discounts are criminal. Catch me later. With the dad jokes. Morning, Sergeant. Could you tell the inspector I've arrived, please? No. <laughs> He's gone. Oh my god. Who's gone? Fucking guy, dude. Why are you dressed like a police officer? Because I am one. <laughs> I see you've already met Oh, I fucking boy. love this guy. Yes. He's in Potter too. Yeah. <laughs> Geographical location shouldn't factor in the application of the law. No thanks. <laughs> How about a trip to the Andes? Detective Sergeant Wainwright and Detective Constable Cartwright. <laughs> You're wondering why we call them the Andes? They're both called Andrew. It said you were good. <laughs> also, because talking to them is a lot of people struggle, in it, Dad? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that is Sergeant Tony Fisher. PC Bob Walker. PC Walker. What? And that is Saxon. Oh. Saxon. Is he the Saxon distraction? She's a police officer. Being a woman has nothing to do with it. Oh, I don't know. Comes in handy every so often. <laughs> I could have given you the tour. I've been around the station a few times. Oh, my. Will you liaison with the Neighbourhood Watch Alliance? You'll find that we run a very tight ship here. I can see what the whole village is up to. 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. We are going to be up to our balls in jugglers. We'll get right on to <laughs> You see, boy, you know better. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> whatever, yeah, yeah whatever he exactly. said. Absolutely, yeah, Bob. Got a mustache. I know. Nobody's going to stab you in the ear, Sergeant. Not a member of the public. Dude, either. I could go for some Guinness right about now, though. You seen a lot of action, Sergeant Angel? I've experienced my fair share, yes. Did you cook any fools? <laughs> Excuse me? Did you shoot anybody? <laughs> you cook any fools? Where'd you get that? The offender had the Kalashnikov. What? Where did he get that? Everybody and their mums is packing around there. Like who? Farmers. Who else? Farmer's mums. <laughs> what was it like being stabbed? It was the single most painful experience of my life. What was the second most painful? <laughs> this is pretty friggin' epic so far. You ever fired one gun whilst jumping through the air? No. Ever been in high speed pursuit? Yes, I have. You ever fired a gun whilst in high speed pursuit? No. Oh my god, yeah, buddy, check him out! You seen Die Hard, dude? No. Bad Boys 2? No. You ain't seen Bad Boys 2. I am sure that all of you will have noticed the return of a blight. 
to our streets. The extremely irritating living statue. <laughs> Jeez. Everybody's like, oh shit, please, come on. Nah, nah. <laughs> Police work is as much about preventing crime oh, as it home. is about fighting crime. It is about procedural correctness in the execution of unquestionable moral authority. <laughs> is it true that there is a place in a man's head that if you shoot it, it will blow up? The swans escaped. And who might you be? Mr. Staker. Yeah, Mr. Peter Ian Staker. P.I. Staker. Yeah. Right. Piss Taker. Come on! Yes, Mr. Staker. Uh oh, that's his <laughs> name! <laughs> oh. I love this guy, too. It's a swan. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. This is gonna scare me. Holy shit. Want anything from the shop? You've just been to the shop. Thinking of a different shop. Constable Butterman, this is not the time for personal errands. There is always something going on. You have to look closer. Now I want ice cream. This guy. Why has he got that big coat on? Can't be cold. Why the extra layer? Okay, what about this guy? Ask yourself, why has he got his hat pulled down like that? He's fuck ugly. He doesn't want you to see his face. Because he's fuck ugly. <laughs> It's just fuck ugly, you know? Uh, it's oh, a trolley boy at the local supermarket. Good. Real name Michael Armstrong. Lives up Summer Street with his mum and his sister. And are they as big as he is? Who? The mum and the sister. Same person. What? Angel. Or is it angle? <laughs> Yar. Child vomit aisle six, vomit aisle. Yar. Excuse me. Meet the cop that can't be stopped. The fucking the statue. The statue. Sergeant Angel's having a spot of water. Roger that. Do they all talk to each other? Oh my god. <laughs> Literal. <laughs> Literal. Come on. Through the gardens. What's the matter, Danny? You've never taken a shortcut before. The sound of Why, this reminds me of like Jim Ferris Carrey. Bueller. Oh, that too. <laughs> but Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey doing something funny. Oh yeah. Oh jeez. <laughs> that would be me. That would be me. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> oh, bitch. Hey, yeah, oh. buddy! I love the sound that it made when it hit his head. <laughs> oh my god. Hi, right, Danny. Oh, Peter. Do you know this man? Yeah, he's Auntie Jackie's sister's brother's boy. Couldn't see his face, could I? Not made of eyes. Made of eyes. I'm sorry, is his name Peacocker? Peacock. Mr. Skinner feels it would be better not to prosecute an individual that has committed a blatant offense. I'll make sure everyone gets their just deserts. I love how uptight he is about doing his job to its fullest, and everyone around him is just like, eh, yeah, fuck whatever. It. Amazing bit in Point Break where they jump over. And like the biggest yeah, no, problems no, no, no. is a human statue and a swan. And he goes to shoot Swayze, but he can't because he loves him so much and he's firing his gun up in the air. He's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> you ever fired your gun up in the air and gone ah? No, I have not ever fired my gun up in the air and gone ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, buddy, fire up the roof. That was brilliant. <laughs> like going a tad fast, oh obviously. God. Yes, you were, Mr. Blower. Everybody's got the best name. 
homage to William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. I'm the old. names are outrageous. I love them all. Just look, this is preposterous. Preposterous. Look, stop writing! <laughs> stop writing. See what I did then? You hypnotized him. No, I used this. <laughs> That's just extraordinary. <laughs> Mr. Blower left you tickets for Romeo and Juliet. We can't accept gifts from somebody we've officially rebuked, so... Yeah. Mr. No Fun, jeez. Wondered if you wouldn't mind representing us at the Amdrams tonight. And there's a spare for Danny, too. Hey! <laughs> I love Danny. To my love, Harry Potter. I love that there's a guy sleeping in the room. Bernard is sleeping in the bag. Oh my god. Bag! Love me, love me, say that you love me. It's that Romeo and Juliet. That's my favorite Romeo and Juliet. The one with Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm so thrilled you accepted my invitation. Well, our inspector requested we attend. So. Yeah, we can't accept gifts from someone we've officially rebuked, so, uh, <laughs> jog on. Oh, my. Eve works in the local council, Sergeant. Quite the lady in the room. I am not. I'm sure if we bashed your head in, all sorts of secrets would come tumbling out. <laughs> I, uh, what? Eve's nice, ain't she? She certainly has a distinctive laugh. <laughs> it's an awful laugh. She clearly has a thing for older men. Martin Blur, no way. We just sat through three hours of so-called acting, Constable. Their kiss was the only convincing moment in it. Hey, Marcus Carter's big brother said he'd fingered her at the duck pond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hopefully, that's the last we'll see of him. What the fuck? To us. You need to blend that better. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, it's like that. I like how it has a sticker that just says, please do not remove. Oh, oh. my good lord. Must have hit the sign at some speed. Took the old top off. I've had my top off in his lay boy. Oh my god. There never was a story of more woe than this of Juliet and her Romeo. Mr. Skinner, do you mind telling me how you know the identity of the persons involved? You know how it is? News travels fast. Hello? Hey, why can't we see accident again? Because accident implies there's nobody to blame. And why don't you check out a few of Martin Blower's clients? Martin Blower? House of the Dragon. She wants to go through the whole phone book? Yeah, we'll put a call into Aaron A. Aronson, shall we? Please, don't be childish. Okay. At least consider interviewing- Yes! <laughs> no shit! Oh, goddamn. Doesn't it seem a little strange that Martin Blower would lose control of his car and not think to apply the brakes? There were no skid marks, it follows that for 300 yards, <laughs> both driver and passenger did nothing to prevent their fate. You don't have to be a detective to work that out! <laughs> You're causing trouble. He always walks in. I know, like, and with food. <laughs> Every time he's like, kind of getting loud or frustrated with something, he always shows up. That's amazing. The dog. Why do we need the dog? <laughs> it's not the dog we need. Hey! God damn, everybody's in this shit. Seriously. <laughs> An edge is edge, I don't know. He only chopped him down because he couldn't see the view no more. What's he doing? What did he say? He said an edge is an edge. He only chopped it down because it's for his view. What's Reaper moaning about? Asmos. Asmos? Yes, I suppose. <laughs> what the fuck? Lee, I trust you have a license for that firearm. I don't for this one. Does for this one? He does for this one. For this one? Why do you say that? Walter Frey, Mr. Phillips. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Mother! <laughs> by the power of Grace. Yes, he man! By the power of Grace Skull! And what 
is the this? The fucking mine. C mine. C mine. Nah, a lot of junk. <gasps> Bitch. Oh fuck. Get the dog. Leave one wolf alive. The sheep are never safe. Well, <laughs> what the hell? That's right. oh, motherfucker, but it's not live. It looks live. All right. Oh, my God. I love the tight, fast, like transition shots. It's so good. That guy looks so similar to the other guy. I can't tell the difference. Is it the same guy? I don't know. The front desk guy. Is it the same dude? That's definitely blowing up before this movie ends. Oh, one hundred percent. We should do something to celebrate. Unless you got to water your piece, Lily. What exactly did you have in mind? I don't know. Pub? Did he just use some Axe body spray? Yes. <laughs> What's your wine selection? Oh, we got red or white. <laughs> Perfect. A uh, pint of lager, please. <laughs> yeah, Roy. Dude, the cast of this movie is fantastic. I can't believe it's fucking Aegon Targaryen <laughs> right now. CSI found nothing. I can't. Dr. Archer reported no misadventure, and Mrs. Blower has four alibis. Not your job to investigate this incident, is it? No, no. it isn't. What made you want to be a policeman, officer? What made you want to be a policeman officer? <laughs> Sorry. It's Viserys. Sorry, did I keep saying Aegon? My bad, Viserys. Hey, watch this. Ah, oh. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh my eye! <laughs> He's got him loosening up a little bit. Honestly. Dude. Oh shit. Oh, you're the worst. I think somebody needs to go out. <laughs> Not you. Him. Oh dear lord. We did get a little drunk. <laughs> you get it? Because he's, he's little and he's drunk. <laughs> How much do I owe you? 20 quid. There you go. Yeah. And there's your change. God bless you. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Better call Saul. Right. I would not want to be him in the morning. Oh, oh, nice transition. That was awesome. <laughs> Janine used to say I love my Lily more than I loved her. Because you've done it with a plan. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, it's so bad. We just gotta learn to switch off that big old Melanie yours. You know what? Everybody needs a Danny in their life. Everybody. <laughs> I don't think I know how. I can show you how. Damn. By the power of Christ. <laughs> hey, man! <laughs> Point Break or Bad Boys 2? Which one do you think I prefer? No, I mean, which one do you want to watch first? You are pulling my leg. No, literally. Your leg is being pulled. Oh. I need to watch that movie again. So good. I won't argue that it was a no holds barred adrenaline fueled thrill ride, but there's no way you could perpetrate that amount of carnage and mayhem and not incur a considerable amount of paperwork. <laughs> is about to go off. Oh. Dude, the dialogue, like, the way it plays into scene to scene is just so good. Shit just got real. Fuck. Spends his whole life devoted to the refrigerator and gets killed by an oven. <laughs> mm. oh, I don't know, quite like a little midnight gobble. Uh -huh. Cox. Did you say cox? 
Sorry. Mr. Messenger, a statement will be issued shortly. Actually, I just wanted to ask, what's your perfect Sunday? Oh my God. Come on. Got that music, the fire to destroy all you've done. Mm-hmm. Magically at both crime scenes. <laughs> We're just hoping to talk to the last people to see Mr. Merchant alive. Namely, yeah. Sergeant Nicholas Asswipe. Why is this such a big joke to you? Three people have died in a week. Oh, come on, Dr. Sherlock. Dude, look at his face. I can't. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. There was something that took my eye. Really? What's that? Sanford's most wanted. Someone mentioned the That's arch. the hound. Yeah. I just now saw it. I didn't I couldn't see it on them. This movie's full of Harry Potter and Game of Thrones characters. Honestly. Or actors. And he's talked to you about George Merchant. Churchyard. Three o'clock. What do you think he wants? One side an angel, come to the stage, please. Frick. <laughs> he's gonna die, isn't he? I feel like it, yeah. <laughs> so over the top. Oh shit. Tim, ha ha, get it? Don't kill the messenger. Oh shit! Terrible accident. accident. Oh, just an accident. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> this shit is next level. Holy crap! I think Tim Messenger was murdered. <sighs> Who could do something like this? Maybe it was the Swan. Apparently. Oh my God. Detectives, sir. Start interviewing everyone who was at the bank. Oh, he's got short. You know what to do. Not everyone's a murdering psychopath. It's high time you realize that. You and your monkey. Did he mean me or that? <laughs> Have you listened to anything that I've said? What do you mean? Is there anything I've told you in the last two weeks sunk into that thick skull of yours? Uh-oh. Ouchie. You said I could be an amazing policeman officer. There's always something going on, Danny. You don't know how to switch off. There's a swan in there. Danny, I think I'm onto something. And I think with a little deliberation, we can figure out what links these deaths. Mm -hmm. Let's go to work. Tim Messenger. Go. Editor and journalist of the Sanford Citizen. Uh -huh. Uncovered important information about George Murchin. Self made millionaire. Cha Ching. Martin Blower. Respected solicitor. A firm troll. Leading letter of the local drama society. Bad actor. Eve Draper. Blower's leading lady. Distinctive laugh. True. Favorite older men. Finger. <laughs> so, maybe they were all accidents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, <laughs> like, maybe it was an accident. Hello, Miss Tiller. I was wondering, do you have any Japanese peace lilies? I never find my sisters. You're going somewhere, Miss Tiller? Yes. Well, George Merchant, God rest him, wanted to buy this land. So he sent round his legal fella, Martin Blower, God rest him. But Martin Blower, God rest him, knew where the new bypass road. Eve Draper from the council, God rest her. And then that reporter, God rest him, finds out. Everybody, God rest him. As far as I'm concerned, Cousin Sissy can go and fuck. Would you just, <laughs> excuse me, for just one second? <laughs> it looked like his head was going to explode. 
And she's about to die. Oh no! Dude, the deaths in this movie are super violent. Yeah. They are they awesome. They start off like kind of eh, but then, man, they really kick it up. Oh, you got cut. Blood on the glass. Now, if you had a gun, you could shoot him. You were saying this wasn't an accident. Oh, my God. Leslie Tiller was fucking murdered. George Merchant. Yes. And Eve Draper. Yes. Mark Blower. No, actually. Really? Cause they fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. Come on, Sergeant. You gotta accept it was just another nasty accident. Oh, my God. Uh... What makes you think it was murder? <laughs> because I was there! What absolute or shit. <laughs> I chased a suspect from the scene. Innocent people don't run. Dude, he's gonna lose his shit. I'm literally waiting for his head to like explode. I know who did it. To what do I owe this pleasure? Simon Skinner, I'm arresting you on suspicion of the murder of Leslie Tiller. Dead. You even spoke of bashing her head in. Perhaps hoping you might discover the route of the proposed Sanford Bypass. You killed the competition in cold blood, staging the murders as accidents. You used a vehicle removal truck to stage the blower Draper death. Tim Messenger splattered before he could share with me what he told Leslie Tiller that very afternoon. And may good your escape utilizing your impressive skills as a fun runner. Very smart. These accusations are quite meaningless, Sergeant, unless you can back them up with hard evidence. I'd need something conclusive, something that placed you at the scene of the crime. Dun, dun, dun. Then who was it? Dun, dun, dun. I feel like it was the... him. Daddy. Not Danny, but Daddy. It's gotta be someone who could get away from him, though. You want anything from the shop? Cornetto. No luck catching them killers, then. It's just the one killer, actually. No luck catching them killers, then. It's just the one killer, actually. So, Mario, you've got brain freeze. Get us back to the station, now! Oh! <laughs> Maybe he's not alone. Maybe there are others. Nicholas, you're an exceptional officer. Sergeant Popwell, it was exactly the same thing. You've come from a city where there's danger around every corner. What's happening? What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. I, I, um, I'm just going to go back to the hotel. Does it have anything to do with the live statue guy? Or is he just... The living statue? I don't know. Oh, shit. Why does he growl? Honestly. <laughs> oh, oh no! no! The fucking hound! Oh goddamn! Playtime's over. Not the peace lily. Are you there, Michael? Yarp. Sergeant Angel's been taken care of. Yarp. He's not gonna get back up again. Narp. You can't say yarp to a no question, so you have to say narp. Stay here, okay, and watch him and call your dad. Tell him I was right. What are you gonna do? Bust this thing wide open. Thanks, partner. Oh, shit. Is it the whole, like, department? It's... I, just everybody in the village. It's everybody that's on the NWA. You'll all be delighted to hear that the tenacious Sergeant Angel has been taken care of. We will now be able to concentrate on the eradication of our hoodie infestation. Wait, wait.
The hoodie infestation. Oh, you just hate my closet. I'm arresting you under suspicion of conspiracy to commit murder. <laughs> oh, come, come, Sergeant. All about the greater good. The greater good. How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. <laughs> Plex Blower's fate was simply the result of his being an appalling actor. Uh, 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 Quite appalling. You murdered him for that? And so Eve deserved to die too. Oh, she did have a very annoying laugh. <laughs> and, and George Merchant? He had an awful house. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? What about Leslie Tiller, one of your own? Oh, she was ever so good. Cousin Leslie was a terrible shame. We couldn't have her sharing her green fingers with anybody else. Psychos! Literally. How can this be for the greater good? The greater good. The greater good. These people die for no reason, no reason whatsoever. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, shit. Hello, Nicholas. He looks very nice. I was like you once. Before you could say gypsy scum, we were knee deep in dog muck, thieving kids and crusty jugglers. Crusty jugglers. Are you saying this is all about winning the best village award? This is the best village, Nicholas. I'm afraid it is you who is going to have to come with us. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Danny. Danny, no. Back off! Well, I swear to God, you'll be explaining how Danny tripped over and accidentally cut his own head. Come on, Nicholas, you haven't got it in you. I mean it! These damn cults! Oh, this is insane. Oh shit. Travels. Travels. Leaving kids. Dog luck. Just fucking bury them? If we don't come Oh, oh shit. my god. Danny, no! The fuck? Ta -da. What are you doing? Oh my god. This is murder! It's not! It's ketchup! I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about the others! He put the thing in his pocket. What did you think was happening? Not this! It's Frank! He's appointing himself Judge, Jury and Executioner! He's not Judge, Judy and Executioner! Judge, Judy? Go back to London. There's nothing you can do. I can come back. <sighs> so, is there anything I can do for you? <laughs> this is something I have to do myself. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, Volkswagen. Mom! Oh. Oh, oh, shit! shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to the face! Just walk in and arrest the whole village. Not exactly. Oh shit. I love the, the voiceover <laughs> effect. Oh shit. Fucking Terminator over here. <laughs> Someone from London call for you. <laughs> this fucking guy. I'll turn your ring back. I didn't know we had a mounted division. Nobody tells me nothing. <laughs> so it is the same guy, just different hair. Want to do something useful? He's <laughs> like... Yeah, buddy. 
fetching angels back. Angel. This is amazing. It's got the new actors in the poster for Romeo and Juliet. Is he gonna just start blowing people away? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Morning. Oh shit, he's packing heat in there. That's why he had the big coat on. Yup. Oh shit. Bitch! In the basket. Oh, God bitch! Damn. Thank God she's a terrible shot. She must be a stormtrooper. She even has a friggin' sight on her gun. Damn! Look at this! Bang, bang! Bitch, bang, bang! <laughs> oh, shit. <gasps> yeah, Danny! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? This is so good. It is. <laughs> no one's hitting anyone, though. Yep. Everybody's a terrible shot. Terrible shot. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there we go, yep. <gasps> De oh! Words are hard. Oh! Oh! Damn! Bitch. Oh, her brains against you. You missed that. Stop this mindless violence. I may not be a man of God, but I know right and I know wrong. Oh, fuck off, grasshopper. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh shit, I love that. The angles. You're a doctor. Deal with it. Yeah, motherfucker. Oh shoot! Pub? <laughs> oh shit! Oh god. Dude, this town is packing heavy heat. Bitch! Oh no. I'm not taking orders from you anymore. This is ridiculous! No, it's not, Dad. Ridiculous! It's ridiculous. It's only now that I'm starting to realize how ridiculous it all is. For the last 20 years, the village has been controlled by Frank and the NWA. Oh, he's got some there. Yeah. <laughs> says, he reckons you've got some in there. <laughs> it's time to give it up, sir. We've got the element of surprise. Longer we wait, more time they've got to mobilize. I say we go in through the front entrance, take the place all by oil. They won't be expecting that. All of a sudden, he's got a plan. I know, right? <laughs> what he said. <laughs> Here come the fuzz. Oh. The fuzz. Maybe they're not him. The hot fuzz. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> oh, shit. You deal with the store? I'll deal with the trolley boy. Hey. Oh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Is this what you really, really want? Yarm. <laughs> See yourself. Oh shit. Oh my god. It's either Yarp or from the other show. See you next Tuesday. So outrageous. With the close up. Oh my god. Uh, 
Uh, he's in the freezer. Did you say cool off? No, I didn't say anything, actually. Shame. <laughs> Missed opportunity. And then I, I said, playtime's over, and I hit him with the peace lily. You're off the fucking chain! <laughs> that was so good. It's taking forever! He's got the box there. Oh, bitch. She freaking skidded. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of girl on girl. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god, Doris. Oh, pineapples. Pineapples. Don't go being a twat now. I wouldn't give you the satisfaction. <laughs> Head him off. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Team America. Fuck yeah. Oh, the judges are here. Whoopsie. Everything's bulletproof. Honestly. <laughs> Terrible shots, these guys. You can't get one in. Have you ever tried shooting out the window during a high-speed chase? Not this week, no. Oh, oh no! Fucking swan! No! Longest <laughs> drop scene ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Got him. What? Stop. That's just funny. Oh man. Stay back! Or the ginger nut gets it! Hey. Ah! Oh, bite! Yes! I love that they're fighting in a mini town. Ah! Oh, he's pulling a Game of Thrones. Oh, God. Why does everybody go for the fucking eye gouge? It's an effective... It's easy to poke someone's eye out. Let me try it. <laughs> I like the like, two monsters fighting in a city. Oh! Oh! It's, it's like Godzilla. Godzilla versus Kong. Not your village anymore. <laughs> oh, uppercut. super uppercut. You did good, kid. Ta. What's your name? Aaron Aarons. What? Do you have a box cutter? Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's over. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's alive. Really? Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Stay back! Pack it in, Frank, you silly bastard! <laughs> Don't point break it, just do it! <laughs> the fuck? <gasps> ah! <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I feel like I should say something smart. You don't have to say anything at all. <laughs> the fuckers in the background just. Oh man. Goose swan. Perfect the, the fucking Viserys, dude. Seriously? We need you back. The figures have gone a little squiffy in your absence, it has to be said. Come back to London. I kind of like it here. Besides, we have to do a considerable amount of paperwork. <laughs> Official vocab guidelines state that we say staffing, not manpower, because, uh... You don't mind a bit of manpower, do you, Doris? Oh, 
Dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> what is he got a you musket? No! Oh, there it goes. Oh, God, no. Told ya! By the end of the movie, that shit's exploding. Is everybody fucking dead now? That would be pretty fitting. <laughs> Holy shit. The, from the riot room. Daddy! Oh god! Hold on, Daddy! Just hold on! Just hang on! Hang on! Did Danny die? Yeah. Okay. No. Chief, we've had a report of some hippie types messing with the recycling bin. Little Hand says it's time to rock and roll. Bring the noise. Bring the noise. <laughs> By the way, did you say little hand? Yes. Little hand. Little hand. Yeah, buddy. That movie was brilliant. So fun. It was hilarious. It was beautifully shot. I love the way it was edited with all the fast cuts and the sound effects and just the dialogue and the writing was so good. I feel like there were so many things that were connected throughout this movie and it's like the way they would go from scene to scene it's like the dialogue would flow yes. to the next scene but reference back yeah yeah it's so and, and how many fucking characters and I apologize for calling <laughs> him Aegon in the beginning my bad you know it doesn't stick in there sometimes but def Viserys Fucking the Hound. I mean, Game of Thrones every and Harry, Harry Potter, 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 Potter yeah. character. Unbelievable. Jesus. That was so much fun. And just the way he just shows up to this town, like Mr. Stickler by the book, I'm going to do my job. And everyone's just like, eh, whatever. And just things just start unraveling. For the greater and good. And it's like, for the greater good. Unbelievable. I just... <laughs> I can't believe he's fucking... We should have watched this years ago. Yeah. This is hilarious. Yeah. It was absolutely incredible. I wasn't feeling the best going into this movie. This was perfect. I had like a long week. I was tired going into movie night. I am feeling great after that movie. That shit was so funny. It was so ridiculous. So over the top. But still so flawlessly put together. I loved every second of this movie. I mean, the story was fun. Yes. It was interesting. Yes. The way it's like, turns into like this murder mystery. It's like, oh, what happened? Oh, what's going on here? And then Angel's basically like figuring it all out. He does all his investigation. But meanwhile, then, all like creating a best friend. Yeah. But then by the end, it was just because they didn't like these people that they killed them for one reason or another. It was like their cause wasn't even close to what he came up with, even I, though he was right about all of it. I mean, Eve's <laughs> laugh was annoying. Oh, my God. It was. It's just he, he came up with this flawless reason why these murders were happening and wasn't even close. <laughs> so good. Yeah. And just the way everything, just the callbacks from earlier played in later and like, I want to watch this movie again. Yes. And see where everything connects. Ready? Because, Five, four, yeah, three. No, wish. <laughs> the dialogue was so good, and this was one of the more entertaining movies I feel like I've ever seen. Absolutely. It was so funny. The deaths were so over the top and outrageous. I loved it. Oh my god. I, so the good. The gore and the splatters. Yeah. The fantastic. Just, the... <sighs> but the ketchup packets. I mean... That was so perfect. I mean... Pyramid Head, 
That death was absolutely incredible. Like the dude getting friggin' stabbed through. This like, really hurts. Yeah, like that's that's friggin' epic. Yeah. And just the the shootouts were so bad yes. that they were so good. Oh my god, they were terrible. It's like terrible. the the meat area, like the the shelving that they keep all the meat in was 100% bulletproof. Except for when you ran like the carts into <laughs> yeah. it and then it broke. The 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 one table in the bar which was just just simple thin piece of wood. They were just firing their shotguns into it. No problem. Yep. Completely safe. Totally unscathed. Unbelievable. Just the shootouts were just so bad. It was so entertaining. I love it. I yeah. loved literally every second of that movie. Yeah. It was so much fun. Just it was freaking epic. I used the word brilliant. The movie was brilliant. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely brilliant. Wow. It's a good time. I had other? a great time with you yeah. guys. Thank you. That was fun. Yes. Do you have any other thoughts? I don't. Okay. Thank you for voting for this. <sighs> yeah. That was amazing. Yeah. It's just, it's unbelievable the movies that get suggested, get talked about, and then we put them in a poll, they win, and literally, mind's blown when we watch it. So much fun. It's exactly the kind of movie I needed tonight. So. Yeah, same. Absolutely epic. You guys, leave all your comments. We will catch you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.